my lovelies, I am Pinky and we are back doing the love reading for all zodiac signs. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. For those of you guys that are returning, welcome my lovelies. Let's get into the nitty gritty. We're going to be doing two separate readings for each sign. One is going to be for those of you guys that are dealing with new love or want um, to draw in new love. Let's see what's going on in your love life. For those of you guys that are coming specifically to see or find out about your person, we will also look into that. So again, like I said, for those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Let's get into it. For those of you guys that are interested in the tarot cards that we're going to be using here today, they are the Angel Tarot. And as you guys can see here, beautiful, beautiful cards. I am so in love with these cards. I'm not even gonna lie. I've been using them. Uh, I have partnered up with the Bright Company and um, going to be uh, using their cards and being able to interpret all your readings. Um, so if you guys are interested in any of the decks uh, that I will be using in the next couple of videos, look at the description box below. You'll be able to find uh, the link on there. Also, make sure to use uh, Pinky Pink Star Doll. Um, that's going to give you 20% discount of the tarot cards, okay? All right, let's get into the reading. All right, so we're going to start off here with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's look at what's going on in your new love life for those of you guys that are dealing with someone new or wanting to open yourself up to a new love. Let's see what's going on. All right, spirits, ancestors, and archangels, please give us guidance. Allow us to see clearly and concisely how uh, do they see you or how do they see them, I should say. Let's see what's going on. How is it that the new interest sees Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? All right, here we go. All right, we have the Three of Cups here. Three of Cups is indicative. A playful type of energy. This is energy that is very, um, very lighthearted type of energy. They're definitely seeing you. They may see you like the life of the party. Uh, they definitely like to spend time you may actually be, um, could have met them through a friend or your social network or people that are around you. Um, and they're also seeing you as someone that uh, may be a bit popular. So uh, that's how your person is seeing you right now. Now let's see what their future actions are going to be towards you. If they will be making any type of a move. Let's see what their future actions are going to be. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, their person of interest. All right, here we go. So we have here the Wheel of Fortune. So there's definitely some change that is in the horizon for you. I feel like for some of you guys, you may actually, if this is a person that you're interested in but not currently dealing with, um, I definitely see that there is a bit of destiny taking uh, place right now for some of you guys it could be that uh, maybe some of you guys that are watching maybe you are dealing with someone um, that things are just not going that good and you could have potentially uh, met someone new or could be dealing with someone new right at the cusp of you know either ending or walking away from a previous connection um, the wheel of fortune is talking about them taking action it is talking about striking luck um, but it's also about major change that's happening or unfolding in the present time. So I definitely do see them coming towards you. I definitely do see that uh, a lot of things are going to be unfolding where you feel like things are falling into place. Like I said, especially those of you guys that uh, have been dealing with something that has been a bit unstable. Um, I feel like right at the cusp of trying to uh, either figure out where you're at or if you're wanting to continue that connection. I feel a new connection coming in for you guys. So uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you, again, uh, being in a social setting or going out or um, putting yourself out there, uh, you're definitely going to be meeting someone new that's coming in and, and that it's going to bring a lot of, like I said, playful type of energy, a lot of... Uh raising of your energy I, I feel for some of you guys this could be in connection like i said where you've been wasting your time with someone um and it's uh, you know the universe has to step in and it's like okay aries you're ready 
and we have the perfect person that's coming towards you or the person that's going to meet the criteria of what you're looking for in a partner, more than looking for what you need in a partner. Um, and that's definitely what they're speaking about here. All right. All right. So now let's get to if you're dealing with someone from your past or an old love, let's see how they feel about you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. How do they feel about Aries? How do they feel about Aries right now at this point in time? All right. We have the Six of Swords. So there is definitely uh, some type of movement in regards to feeling like you've either moved on or feeling like uh, you're going towards calmer waters, trying to figure out. I'm hearing clarity for some of you guys. Again, we go back to that of the new love. I feel like for some of you guys, you could be in a situation where you've continuously or constantly tried the best you can to fix or work out a connection. Uh, and what they're showing me here with the Six of Swords is your person is definitely feeling like you've moved on or like you are uh, entertaining or dealing with someone new. Um, and I definitely do see that for a lot of you guys. Um, I feel like this has a lot to do with the energy that I was feeling with the new love. Someone is definitely coming in and I feel like it's going to be very unexpected for some of you guys. You were definitely not expecting it. Um... But yeah, that's how your person is currently viewing you at this present time. Like you are detached or you have moved on. Uh, let's see. Um, why do they feel that way? All right. So we have the hanged man here. There is a feeling of restriction. There's a feeling of not uh, seeing movement or progress in this connection. I feel like for some of you guys, this can also represent uh, the feeling of stagnant energy. Um, could have been that you were expecting or wanting something from this partner. However, I feel like there is lack of movement or lack of taking action. Uh, a lot of wasting time is what I'm hearing. So uh, this is why they feel like you've moved on. It could be because you're not communicating with them anymore, or maybe you're cutting back on your communication. For some of you guys, this could just represent that the person was um, in essence kind of used to you putting up with certain things and uh, now that they don't see a lot of movement or a lot of effort on your part they're definitely a little bit in their feelings <laughs> they're feeling like uh, there is a change in you or some type of different perspective in you and they they may be worried or feeling like maybe someone else is in the picture even for some of you guys if that new love hasn't came in um, it could be that, you know, you are feeling like, well, there's no one really uh, around that is new. I am just, you know, you, you just get to the point of being tired of putting a lot of effort or a lot of energy. Uh, but I definitely do see a bit of a shake on their part. Like they are a bit uh, flabbergasted, I guess, um, because they weren't expecting. It's almost like they felt like you were certain or your behavior was very certain um, they assumed that you would continue putting effort uh, so that's the reason why i'm feeling like they are in their feelings right now so let me see what's their future actions what's their future actions towards aries sun moon rising and venus all right so we have the eight of pentacles here so they are definitely taking action towards you aries i feel like they are uh, coming around or they're going to be communicating or letting you know that um, you know that they're willing to work it out that they're willing to change that they're willing to put effort however I do feel very strongly like at this point in time it's time for you to embrace something new Aries it's time for you to really see what's out there and to be or to be exposed uh, to being treated very differently in a very positive way uh, that makes you realize that yes in fact you did deserve much better and you will get exactly that Aries all right my lovelies now let's go to Taurus let's see what's going on with Taurus in regards to their love life we're going to look into new love how do they see Taurus how do they see Taurus how do they see Taurus sun moon rising or Venus all right and we have the five of wands so they definitely see you as extremely popular Taurus. There may be uh, there may be a bit of intimidation here, a bit of feeling like um, 
like you're popular, like a lot of people are trying to fight to get your attention. I'm definitely hearing that they are, um, they're a bit feeling like, uh, like this is going to be challenging. It's not going to be easy. Uh, I do feel them a little bit uneasy because they feel like they have to compete for your attention or like maybe they are going to have to compete for your attention. Um, so they definitely do see you either popular or being around a lot of people or a lot of people uh, naturally give you attention. And I feel like that's something that has to do more with their insecurities. Let's see what their... Let's see, how do you, how do they feel about Taurus, Spirit Guides? How do they feel about Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How do they feel about Taurus? All right. They see uh, the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is, I feel very strongly like they are intimidated with the fact that they feel like you get, you, you get a lot of attention or you stand out a lot or you're just, people are just naturally drawn to you. Um, and I feel like for some, it could be almost a feeling of like, kind of not even trying or not willing to try to put effort only because their insecurities will be getting the best of them. Um, so Taurus, if you are dealing with someone and they kind of seem hot and cold, I feel like in reality, the reason why they're feeling this way is because they feel like they have to fight or compete for your attention and they're not willing to do that at this point it's like um and again it's not that you're you don't deserve to be fought for um and not in a negative way uh, but what i am sensing is like this person is not trying to seek or go out of their way to prove something um, it's almost like, again, the, the, their insecurities is what's getting the best of them right now. And that could be the reason why they seem a bit standoffish, a bit pulled away. Um, so let's look at what their future actions is going to be towards Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is their future actions? Queen of Swords. Yeah, I definitely feel like they're going to be... Um, cold and distant. I don't see much progress here. I don't see like they are going to be moving forward in trying to chase or in trying to prove to you that they are interested in you. So word of advice here, Taurus, is if you are entertaining uh, multiple people, um, I would suggest for you to primarily focus in the one that you or in a few <laughs> to break it down, break the list down a little bit. Um, focus on the ones that you are really interested in or the ones that you have more commonalities with and go from there because I feel like this person is genuinely interested. However, I feel like they're not going to compete or they're not going to fight for anyone. And that to me seems like a person that has gone through it when we're talking about love and romance. Uh, so they are extremely guarded. Um, so if you are interested in this person, my advice would be um, to don't don't try to play mind games or don't try to play um, don't try to play like yeah don't play mind games Taurus um, be be to the point and be direct if you're not interested in them then that's fine continue on your path because uh, I don't see them chasing you um, but if it is a person that you are interested in and you have noticed uh, that lately they've been a bit distant or they've been pulling away uh, try to reciprocate um, the energy that initially they were bringing to you because I do feel that they are interested. I just feel like they're a bit tainted and they're not trying. It's an ego thing that an ego and a defense mechanism that they're not trying to get hurt or they're not trying to go above and beyond when you're not meeting them halfway. All right. All right. Now let's look at Taurus's old love or... Um, actually uh yeah oh love as a bit confused <laughs> you guys it's been an extremely long day for me by the way we have tons of spell work that we've been doing which is why i'm a little bit behind on my videos but do not fret or do not despair i have tons of spell videos coming up for you guys i've been working on those uh, for quite a while. So I'm probably going to drop about two, three different spells, um, one after the other. So you guys definitely stay tuned for that. 
All right, so now let's go to Taurus's old love or the person uh, that they probably came here for. Let's see. How do they feel about Taurus at this point in time? How do they feel about Taurus at this point in time? All right, so we're going to pull out temperance. Okay, so how they feel about you right now, I feel like they are still trying to figure out what it is that they want, Taurus. I feel like there is... For some of you guys, it could be that there was a bit of inconsistency or a bit of lack of reciprocation. And I feel like right now they're trying to figure out what it is that they want. What I'm hearing is for some of you guys, they know that you're wanting something serious or to take it to the next level or some type of commitment, uh, whether it's making it official, whatever it may be. Um, I feel like they're still weighing their options. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Let's see. Um... Why do they feel that way? Why do they feel like they're still weighing their options? Why do they feel that way? And we have the four of pentacles. They feel that way because they themselves are not looking for any type of commitment right now at this point in time, Taurus. I feel like they they are interested in you. Perhaps they... Uh, are emotionally invested in you and that's the reason why they're still trying to figure out if they are willing to settle or if they're willing to take it to the next level or if they're willing to open up i feel like they're refusing to open up they could be extremely guarded or this could be a person that is very stubborn and stuck in their old ways um so again i, I see them trying to you know weigh the options i feel like they may be dealing with multiple people um, and the reason for it is because they are not very good at opening up or they're not ready for any type of commitment right now. And they're stubborn. So again, if they're not willing to change a certain behavior, um, it's not it's not necessarily the best uh, outcome here. Um, so my advice would be if you're dealing with an old love, stop wasting your time, Taurus. OK, let's keep it real. <laughs> All right, what's their future actions towards Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is their future actions? All right, Ten of Wands. Yeah, I don't see any action, Taurus. I don't see them uh, coming towards you or trying to reach out or trying to entertain the idea of where do we go from here. I feel like they've made their choice. They may... Um, be stringing you along and i feel like it's purposely because they don't necessarily want to let go of you or they don't necessarily want to see you move on um because they're stubborn and prideful um however i don't see them taking any action i feel like the moment that they felt like this connection was getting deeper or it was getting a little bit too heavy for them it became something that they just didn't want to deal with or they didn't want to put themselves in a situation where uh, later on, um, later on, you would have expected something from them or some type of, like I said, some type of commitment. Um, I feel like this is a commitment phobe that you're dealing with. So my advice for us move on. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's look into their new love. How do they see Gemini's? How do they see Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they see them? All right, we have the Five of Wands. Hmm, sorry, not Five, Seven of Wands. Okay, so they definitely see you extremely guarded. Um, they see you extremely guarded. They see you uh, stubborn uh, in certain aspects. I feel like they see you a bit combative, Gemini. So I'm not sure what's been going on or if there's been like arguments or petty arguments, um, but they definitely are feeling like you are extremely guarded. I'm hearing um, I'm hearing like too much work um, and, and it could be that essentially what they're feeling is like it's like you require uh, too much attention or you require uh, too much patience and perhaps they are not the patient type. Let's see. What do they feel about Gemini's? What do they feel? What's their feelings? Oh, we have King of Cups. So yeah, they're definitely interested in you, Gemini. I just feel like 
to me, it's almost giving me the energy like of a person that could be overly emotional um, and very sensitive and being combative or even feeling like they have to work really hard to help you bring your guard down is something that is going to take a lot of effort on their part. Um, and I feel like right now they're just not willing to do that. I definitely do see them definitely interested in you, Gemini. That is a for sure thing. They are interested in you. You got them a little bit in their feelings, but I feel like they're trying to protect themselves. There is almost the feeling of like, you know, too much work or too much effort in trying to help you trust or give in to the relationship or this connection. Um, and I, I'm going to be honest, I feel like this is a person that is ready for love. They are ready for a relationship. I just feel like because they're so certain about what they want and they're ready, I feel like they don't have the time to waste is what I'm hearing. Um, so if you are definitely interested in them, Gemini, open up a little bit. Um, don't be so combative. Don't take things too personal. Uh, be a little bit more open. Allow them to see your sensitive side. Allow them to see um, the amazing humor you have. Um, because I feel like you, if you give them a little bit, it'll it'll keep them there willing to continue putting effort and getting to know you. Um, but if you're not really giving them much or you're kind of making them chase, uh, they're definitely, because I do see that they are ready, they're not going to waste time is what I'm hearing. So... All right, let's see what their future actions are towards Gemini. What is their future actions towards Gemini? Oh, I'm going to put them back in here. What are their future actions towards Gemini? Page of Wands. So I feel like communication is still going to be there. Um, I feel like there is, for some of you guys, it could be that it's just... Um, for some of you guys, it could be that you met someone online and you've been communicating or taxing. There is an anxiousness to this energy, though. I feel like they're wanting to, if you did recently meet someone online, it's them wanting to physically meet you. Um, if it's someone that you've been dealing with for a while, and like I said, you haven't really been that open or you're a bit guarded, if you're interested in them, I would advise you to show a little bit of your vulnerability or a little bit of your sensitive side. And that's going to, uh, to them, emotional uh, connection is very important. And I feel like because they see you extremely guarded, they're not, they're not feeling like they're ready to waste their time because they're ready for that emotional connection. So if you maintain conversation or maintain communication and show them that vulnerable side or open up a little bit to them. I feel like that's that's enough for them to feel like, okay, um, Gemini is definitely putting effort. So I will, you know, continue getting to know them and wanting to see where this can actually go. All right. Okay. All right. Now let's look to the old love. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini? Old love. How do they feel about Gemini? All right. We have the moon card. So there is a bit of confusion going on here. There is a bit of feeling like uh, you're not being completely honest or like you're hiding something from them, Gemini. Uh, there's almost the feeling of like, I don't really know them. Um, even if you've been with, with this person or you've been dealing with this person for a while, I feel like they see you like an enigma, a conundrum, something that's very difficult to understand. Um, it, it's almost like there are two sides to you. Um, and, and it's like, what side do I believe? What do I, you know, how do I take Gemini, do I take them as like the serious type or the type that just wants to have fun? There's a bit of confusion here. Um, and I feel like they feel like they don't really understand how you feel about them. Let's see. Why do they feel that way towards Gemini? Why do they feel that way towards Gemini? Let's see. 
All right, we have the seven of wands. So they definitely feel that way because they feel like you've pushed them out or like you're very guarded and it's not very easy for you to open up. Um, it, it's almost this energy of like getting to know you, but to a certain extent and it, it, in their head, it's like I've, I've never, I haven't even tapped into like the surface of it. Um, so I feel like there is, a lot of doubt in this connection, um, a lot of doubt, a lot of things that they are not clear about. Um, and I definitely do see them like seeing you like having two sides and not allowing them um, or not opening up to them, um, even about what's bothering you um, or what's going on in your life. It could be that you're extremely private. Um, and you know, there's a difference between being private and being sneaky. And I feel like they're seeing you as a person that is sneaky, like you're hiding something from them. Let's see what their future actions are towards Gemini future actions. We have the Knight of Wands. So I definitely do see communication. I do see them reaching out. I do see, um, the communication being maintained, um, but again, if you look at the Knight of Wands here, they're definitely carrying a shield. I feel like they will continue to communicate with you so long as you keep allowing them to come into your life. Uh, but they are, you know, protecting themselves or keeping themselves like uh, guarding themselves, basically. I'm going to be honest with you, Gemini. This type of energy, what I'm feeling is like the partner or the ex that doesn't let you move on like they will randomly contact you or reach out or text you just because they want to make sure that they still have some type of control over you or some type that you still have some type of emotion towards them they're not willing to just cut the cord i feel like they don't trust you there is trust issues here um but I feel like they are purposely like sporadically messaging or contacting or communicating with you because they don't want you to move on, but yet they don't trust you. So it's like you can have one or the other. It's like they have to make up their mind. So my advice to you is if you are dealing with the situation, stop wasting your time and stop allowing them um, to play with your mind. It's like they're seeing you as sneaky and like you're hiding things and like you're extremely guarded. Um, or you're not that easy to read, but at the same time, um, they themselves are not being completely honest or transparent with you either because Knight of Wands is like, well, I'm going to continue doing me, um, but I'll casually message you and see what's going on in your life so that that emotional connect is still there. So in a way, it's kind of like a power play move. I just wouldn't waste my time with that. All right. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Cancer. Let's see what's going on in Cancer's love life. Let's look into the new love. How do they how do they see Cancer? How do they see Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, so we have the Justice card here. So they definitely see you as a very non-emotional person, which is very surprising here. Um... I feel like they see you very justly, like an honest person, um, but not emotional, which is very odd uh, to see to see that um, because cancers are usually emotional. I feel like uh, this person is definitely seeing you as balanced. They see you as like you have your shit together. You have, you know, everything going for you. Um, but I feel like they feel they, they, they're seeing you as a bit non-emotional or like you're very analytical or maybe an overthinker. Let's see. How do they feel about cancer? How do they feel about cancer? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. How do they feel about cancer? Whoa, this seven of wands is really popping out for a lot of signs. Okay, so when it comes to how they feel about you, I feel like they are beyond guarded. I feel like what they're saying here is 
they don't have an emotional connection to you, Cancer. I feel like, here's the thing. If you recently met someone and it's almost like you can't really read them or you feel like what's going on, like sometimes they'll act like super interested and then later on they act like whatever, they're not even contacting or reaching out. I feel that the reason for this is because they feel like, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I feel like they feel that you're out of their league. I feel that that's the reason why, you know, how they feel about you is coming up with the Seven of Wands. Because Seven of Wands is a bit of restriction and protecting yourself, being guarded, and being defensive. But I feel like by them seeing or by them feeling this way about you is like they... They feel like they have to protect themselves because maybe you're not giving them a lot of, it's almost like, I can't really put my finger on this. It's, it's a feeling of, they don't want to let you in. They don't want to let you in because they feel like there's definitely a connection here and it's like almost like uh like you both you both have been waiting for each other and now that you guys are or have found each other or are uh, getting to know each other there is this fear and i feel that it's on both sides i feel like you're either super questioning this connection like is it real is it worth pursuing they're doing the same thing mentally i feel like they're very guarded because they're scared and what i'm hearing is like they're scared that this could be too good to be true um so if you're not dealing with anyone and the sometime in this month of june there is a connection and this connection feels beyond real it feels like like you guys have known each other for a very long time, get ready if it starts hot, if it starts off hot and heavy, and then there is a bit of stagnation. Um, and I would not concern myself about, like I wouldn't worry myself about this connection. I just feel like the insecurity on both sides is what's going to affect this connection or what may slow it down. All right, let's see what their future actions are towards you. What are the future actions towards Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Knight of Cups. Yeah. So I definitely, that's the energy I'm sensing. I'm sensing like both of you guys have been wanting or calling or manifesting each other. You come into contact or you start dealing with them. And then everything feels too good to be true that you start to question the connection. Is this real? Is it worth it? Am I going to get hurt? And then that's when the walls start to come up on both sides. However, I feel like maintaining open communication and being transparent with one another um, is going to bring you guys or bring the connection much more closer and deeper um, when you get to that point of feeling like it's becoming stagnant or like uh, things are slowing down. Um, like I said, if you keep communication open and openly talk about things that bother that bother you or that give them the space to feel comfortable and opening up and speaking about what bothers them about your behavior. Um, I feel that if, if you guys are able to get through that, this connection can actually progress into something long term um, because justice does represent to me karma, but it, it is um, but it is talking to me about um good karma it's talking about manifestation it's talking about bringing to you uh your equal it, it, it's about bringing the yin and the yang uh regardless of what your sexuality is okay all right now let's look at the old love for cancer sun moon rising venus how do they feel about cancer how do they feel about cancer oh okay Wow, we have the Ace of Cups. So they are still in love with you, Cancer. They still have uh, love for you. And I feel like it's overflowing type of love. So 
um, if this is an old partner or an ex that you're dealing with or that you're wanting to know if they still have feelings for you. Um, yeah, they definitely do. Let's see. Why do they feel that way about cancer? Why do they feel that way about cancer? Strength. Beautiful energy here, uh, cancer. So yeah, I definitely see uh, if this is a old love or an ex-partner or someone that you're currently not dealing with but still interested in, they definitely do still have love for you. I feel that the reason why they have love for you is because they admire your strength, uh, perhaps courage that you gave them. Perhaps you helped them out through very difficult or tumultuous moments in their life. And that uh, only deepens the connection that you guys had. I feel like it's something that they are just not able to move past. Uh, they're definitely not over you. Um, and for some of you guys, the sexual energy was extremely explosive and they often do have those types of thoughts about you. What are their future actions towards Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Future actions towards Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the future actions? We have the full card. So yeah, I definitely see them um, coming back around Cancer. I feel like they are not ready to give up just yet. I feel like there is a desire to want to reconcile or want to see if we can revisit the past, if we can, you know, move past, um, move past hurt and pain. Uh, strength card always indicates like uh, a very difficult uh, situation or a very difficult relationship um, where it took a lot of strength and a lot of courage to maintain or to continue that relationship and with the full card and ace of cups my lovely cancer your ex is definitely not over you um and they are definitely uh, reaching out to you and they are wanting a second chance here so the ball will be in your court cancer all right now let's go to leo sun moon rising venus let's look into their new love life how do they see leos how do they see leo Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. They see you as marriage material, Leo. <laughs> they see you as marriage material. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be a Taurus coming into your life. Uh, they are definitely understanding. So, you see, what I'm hearing is this person is not going to waste time. They're not going to play game with you, games with you because off the bat, there's something about you that they understand that you deserve uh, to be treated with respect, to be treated with, um, to have a, you know, to have a plan. Uh, and that's what they're willing to bring to you. They're definitely seeing you as wifey or husband material. All right, let's see. How do they feel about Leo? How do they feel about Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about Leo? All right. Nine of Cups. Wow, this is beautiful energy, Leo. Listen, for those of you guys that are single, I definitely do see you guys making contact or coming in contact with a lifetime partner. This is a person that is going to or willing to wife you uh, or marry you. You are everything that they've ever dreamt of or everything that they ever wished for in a partner. You are literally what they always wanted to have, always wanted to find. Um, this is a wish fulfillment type of energy. Uh, definitely, definitely taking it to the next level. Uh, if you guys are just recently dealing with someone, this is something that has potential for long-term uh, relationship, commitment, or marriage. Uh, for others of you, if you are dealing and have been dealing with someone new, um, I definitely see that this is a connection worth pursuing. Um, and for those of you guys that are not dealing with anyone, like I said, do not be surprised if you if someone comes into your life and just sweeps you off your feet, um, regardless of your, what your gender is. This is a very beautiful type of energy here. This is what we like to see. OK, 
Okay, let's see. What are their future actions towards Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Future actions towards Leo. Future actions towards Leo. And we have the two of wands. So they are definitely going to be pursuing you. If you guys are single and not dealing with anyone, this person is going to be chasing you. They are definitely going to be wanting to get to know you. They're they're basically going to be taking action. I see um, I see masculine energy regardless of the gender. Um, and when I say masculine, I'm speaking about uh, fluid energy that is that of taking action. This is a person that uh, doesn't just say, but they actually do. This is a person that is not about playing games and they know exactly what it is that they want. It's a beautiful energy, Leo. For those of you guys that are single, do not be surprised if in the next coming weeks or even next coming month, uh, there is a very serious connection that's going to be coming in for you guys. Exciting news. All right, now let's look into the old love of Leo. How do they feel about Leo's? How do they feel about Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? If you guys like these readings, definitely comment below. Let us know. Comment. Let me know that you guys are liking these videos. Or if you guys want me to switch it back to the normal, let me know. Uh, comment below. I do read the messages. All right, here we go. How do they feel about Leo? All right, so <laughs> fighting energy. This is combative energy. This is... I'm hearing like prepotente, which in Spanish, uh, or it is in Spanish, which represents um, arrogant. I feel like they feel the need to prove that they're right or that they're better than you. Um, not necessarily a good energy here, Leo, when we're talking about the ex or a person from your past. Why do they feel that way? Why do they feel that way? Why do they feel that way towards Leo? The hanged man. Because they feel like they sacrificed. Um, I am going to be a straight shooter, Leo. I feel like the person that you were dealing from in the past has a lot of pride. Has a lot of arrogance in themselves. Um, therefore, whatever arrogance they're able to see in other people is just a reflection of who they are. The hanged man indicates to me the playing the victim role. This is a person that does not take self-responsibility. Um, this is nasty energy. Uh, this is petty energy. What are their future actions towards Leo? Future actions towards Leo. Yeah, because if you can see the hanged man here is looking directly at the five of wands. So they're looking at you like you were the combative one or like you're the one that's on this eagle run. Um, they're seeing you as prideful, um, but the hanged man representing um, why they feel that way is like they feel like they had to sacrifice or like they had to um, accommodate you in some aspect. Uh, but it's giving me like the, the victim mentality that I'm not taking responsibility because poor me type of energy. Definitely not liking that energy. All right. Let's see what the future actions are. What are their future actions towards Leo? What are their future actions towards Leo? Hermit. Yeah, I, I don't see them reaching out. I don't see them uh, wanting. Again, it has to do with pride. It has to do with. And I'm going to be honest, Leo, I feel like this person hasn't moved on. And the truth of the matter is that they're still in their feelings about this connection or the relationship with you. Um, I definitely do see them like looking at you or looking at what you're doing. Uh, Hermit is definitely giving me like sneaky type of vibe, like asking people about you. Like uh, Hermit is usually like finding the answers within um, but this is their action. So they're definitely not taking any, they're not taking any, like any action at the moment. It has more to do with like seeking answers. And because it is looking towards the five of wands, I feel very strongly like this could be them just spying or seeing what you're up to or what you're doing. But again, not taking no action and not wanting to take any type of self responsibility. So on to the next move on leo i mean if you've moved on good for you because i don't like that energy at all 
All right, now let's look into Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's look into their new love, new love for them. How do they see Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they see Virgos? Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles. So they definitely see you as a person that uh, could potentially have a lot of people around them, uh, like you are very social. Uh, they definitely see you as someone worth getting to know. They see value in you, uh, Virgo. Let's see, how do they feel about Virgo? How do they feel about Virgo? Oh, Whew, the devil. All right, so they're definitely desiring you, Virgo. They are very lusty for you. Um, there is this feeling of there is some type of there's some type of admiration here. Um, they have some type of admiration towards you or they respect something about you, whether it's like what you do professional wise, your career, um, your reputation. There's something that they highly admire about you. But with the devil card, there's definitely desire here. I feel like it has more to do on a physical aspect because pentacles is body. It is uh, the physical uh, so I definitely feel like this connection is definitely more to do with like uh, being extremely sexually attractive to one another. This could be a person that is extremely handsome or extremely beautiful as well. What are their future actions towards Virgo? Future actions towards Virgo. Future actions towards Virgo. The Five of Cups. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm going to be honest. I feel like I feel like they're I'm going to be honest. OK, you guys, um, if you are currently single and a person comes into your life and the physical um, chemistry is off the charts be careful or be weary of this connection only because if off the bat what they're bringing to the table is a sexual relationship it's not going to move anything it's not going to move forward with anything other than that um their future actions towards you is the five of cups so there is a feeling of they haven't completely healed or they haven't moved on from an ex-partner and I feel like if you're quick to take it to the physical or if you're quick to um, physically give yourself to them, I feel like you're going to become emotionally invested in this connection and this person is emotionally unavailable. OK, so keep that in mind. All right. Now let's look to the old love for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about Virgo? How do they feel about Virgo? How do they feel about Virgo? Five of Cups. Ah. All right. So I feel like the new love is not really new love. It could be a person that is from your past, an ex-lover, an ex-partner. For some of you guys, it could be the way they spoke about it, a connection that becomes purely physical. Um, with the Five of Cups, I feel like it resonates or it ties to the energy of the new love. So what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, it could be that you, this new person that comes into your life is, like I said, uh, purely looking for something physical. For some of you guys, you haven't moved on from an ex-partner. And I feel like that's going to play a major role where perhaps you're wanting or seeking some type of uh, attention or validation. Um, putting yourself in that situation is only going to put you in a vulnerable position because the new love that is coming in is definitely looking for something that is physical because they themselves haven't moved on or still carrying something from the past. So I feel like you guys have two unhealed energies um, and it's all tied to people from the past. Now, how your old love uh, feels about you, they definitely miss you. They definitely are thinking of you. Um, there is desire to want to hear from you. Um, let's see. Why do they feel that way about Virgo? Why do they feel that way about Virgo? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Why do they feel that way? 
king of pentacles because they're realizing that you deserved better because they're realizing that you are not an easy person to come by and they could have squandered or they could have screwed their possibility of uh, progressively growing uh, this relationship. There is a bit of remorse there on their part. So for some of you guys, it could be that they were the ones that walked away, Virgo. Um, I feel like they're definitely having regret. And the reason why they feel this way, because they feel like you were definitely um, someone that was that deserved better, someone that um, deserves, you know, that long term. I, I, what I'm hearing is like realizing I fucked up and they were wifey or husband material. That's what I'm hearing. And because of this energy, for some of you guys that they were speaking about the new love, it could be that this person tries to come back around or tries to come back into your life asking for a second opportunity. And that may in turn um, kind of jeopardize the relationship or connection with the new person that's coming in. Now, I'll be honest, Virgo, if you are dealing with someone new and the ex comes back around and you're quick to, uh, you know, be physical with them, I feel like you're going to ruin the chances of that new love because that new love energy was talking about physical uh, connection. Again, like I said, if you feel like they're not opening up or like they are not completely like honest or upfront about something is because they themselves have not moved on from an ex. So it's a whole messy scenario here and you just don't want to get yourself in a position of getting emotionally invested in someone that is emotionally unavailable because that will be painful. All right, let's see what their future actions are towards Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are their future actions? Two of Cups. So yeah, I feel like they're coming back around Virgo. I feel like they're going to be reaching out. They're going to be asking or wanting a second opportunity. They're going to want to rekindle this connection. So the ball is in your court. All right. All right, now let's go to Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Let's look into their new love. How do they see Libra? How do they see Libra? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they see Libra? King of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, so they definitely see you as um, the type they want to settle with. Uh, they definitely see value in you. As you can see here, the King of Pentacles is holding up the pentacles, which is holding uh, the material um, aspect of something that you value, something that you know has worthiness. Uh, they definitely see you as a nurturing type of energy here, which is no surprise. Let's see, how do they feel about Libra? How, do this new, how does this new love feel about Libra? Wow. The end all be all, Libra. So for those of you guys that are single, new love is on its way. It is right around the corner, Libra. Stop entertaining anything that is wasting your time. This is a person that is willing to take it to the next level. This is a person that is willing to put in the work because they see value in you, because they are wanting and they see a future with you or uh you know, there's something about you that they see very nurturing. Um, for some of you guys, it could be like they see that you would be an amazing mother, an amazing father. Uh, this is the type of person or the type of energy of a person that want, that knows they want to settle with you. What are their future actions? Future actions towards Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Future actions. Here we go. Seven of Cups. So, their future actions towards you is giving you the option, Libra. Um, there's almost like this energy of fantasy. Um, it could be that they idolize something about you. It could be that they really have been, for some of you guys, it could even mean that they've been really manifesting you. For those of you guys that are single and are not dealing with anyone, um, there is a connection that's coming in that is very strong and it's going to naturally feel uh, very natural to you. Like you don't have to work hard at making this connection work. 
um, it's just going to be very organic. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, this person that's coming in has definitely manifested you or manifested a person that had exactly all the attributes that you have or everything that how you view a relationship is what they feel um, like they've always wanted in a partner. There's definitely a feeling of like fantasy that is connected to this connection. So again, there's something about you uh, that they are very like idolizing or admiring about you. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that they see you as extremely beautiful, um, someone that, you know, has options. Uh, however, I feel like if it, if for some of you guys, if it is the, the fact that uh, you guys do have options, they are going to be very aware of that. And I feel that that's what's going to push them to like go hard on trying to pursue you. Um, so beautiful energy, Libra. All right. Now let's look into the old love for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about Libra? How do they feel about Libra? Old love. How do they feel about Libra? Three of Cups. They see you as the player or they see you as a person that um, has a lot of options. Um, they are definitely drawn or very pulled towards your energy of being extremely what's the word i'm looking for like uh extremely social uh for some of you guys it could be that you have a like a big uh network a big circle of network or a lot of uh social connections um so they definitely there is this like a feeling of like having options and being intimidated because you have options why do they feel this way? Why do they feel this way about Libra? Why do they feel this way about Libra? Page of Swords, because they are watching you, Libra. For those of you guys that have social media, uh, I see the ex looking at you. I see them uh, being a bit in their feelings because they're seeing you live, either live your best life or posting a lot of fun things that you're doing right now and they definitely are watching you there's this feeling of even like a bit of spitefulness because they probably thought that you were going to sit there and cry for them uh there is this like uh, i'm feeling like spiteful energy like oh you know why is libra out and about like they probably never cared for me victim type of energy but i feel like it's it's not really the reality of it i feel like it just has more to do with them being in their feelings about you either moving on or posting on social media when you're out and about all right let's see what are their future actions towards libra future actions towards libra the magician so they are definitely trying to manifest to Libra. They're trying to uh, bring your attention or trying to, uh, I'm hearing like steer up certain things. So for some of you guys, uh, if you hear some rumor about your ex-partner or the old love that has moved on or that they're going out, that they're dating, don't take it at, at face value. I feel it has a lot to do with the fact that they themselves are spreading those rumors just so it can come to you or sort of like your friends can tell you what's going on um, to get some type of reaction out of you. However, I do see them coming back around and wanting to bring you back into their life or trying to see if you can rekindle this connection again. All right. All right. Now let's go to Scorpio. Let's see what's going on in Scorpio's love life. Let's look at new love new love for scorpio sun moon rising venus how do they see scorpio how do they see scorpio seven of cups okay so they are seeing you as a person that definitely has options uh they are seeing you as a bit of perhaps indecisive uh scorpio there is an energy of feeling like they see you as a person that perhaps doesn't know exactly what it is that that you want if you're playing mind games or 
uh, you're trying to have them chase you, I would not necessarily take that approach, Scorpio, because I feel like they're the you wanting to go out of your way to have them chase you or to have them uh, prove that they are interested in you will only make them lose interest because it's coming out or they're viewing it as you just being indecisive or not knowing what it is that you want. And that may be frustrating. Let's see, how do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, let's see. The Magician. So they definitely feel like they definitely feel like they are interesting. Okay, so I'm hearing two different things. For some of you guys, um, what they're saying here is that uh, there is always this feeling of frustration because they feel like you're indecisive. You don't know if you're interested in them or not. Um, it's kind of like, a bit of confusing type of energy but the magician in how they feel they are definitely interested in you um scorpio they are willing to put in the effort but there is almost this feeling of like i want clarity or i want to know exactly where we stand do not be surprised if that conversation comes up in this month like what is it that you want what is it that you're looking for um, because there is some type of clarity that they're looking, that they're wanting to get from you. What are their future actions towards Scorpio? Now, for others of you, I feel like this new person that's coming in is definitely, for those of you guys that are single, there is a person that's coming in and I feel like both of you guys have manifested each other. Now, for those of you guys in the spectrum of like if you've recently done some type of ritual or some type of manifestation to draw love towards you, uh, that's definitely coming in for you guys uh, for this month or the beginning of the month of July. Um, I'm hearing manifestation is coming in. Uh, so again, if you guys recently did some type of love ritual or trying to draw in love towards, to, towards you or bring towards you, uh, in your life, that's definitely what's going to be unfolding. I feel like you guys are going to be very much in your head about this connection, um, especially for those of you guys that I'm hearing, you guys have been manifesting. If you feel like there's a connection that comes in and it's a very strong connection, do not doubt the process. Do not feel like um, it's coincidence, especially if you've really been going above and beyond to bring love towards your life or even doing manifestations or visualizations. Um, what they're telling you is deep down inside, you know that you're the one that brought this connection towards you. So do not doubt it. Do not doubt the process. Now, in regards to their future actions towards you, if you are already dealing with someone, uh, two of sorts does indicate, again, stillness, but it's stillness because they're trying to figure out what it is that you want or where they stand in your life. So again, Scorpio, if you are dealing or have been dealing with someone and you're wanting them to kind of chase you or kind of, um, you know, make them wonder or not feel like there is certainty with you, my advice is don't play those mind games because this is a person that is genuinely interested and I feel like um, the reason why they may be pulling back or perhaps not as proactively pursuing is because they want to see that you're willing to put in that effort as well. All right, now let's go to old love. Let's look at the old love of Scorpio. How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? Six of wands. So they definitely see you as prideful. Uh, Scorpio, they see you as a person that is very prideful or perhaps um, someone that is very well respected or someone that is well, well known for some of you guys. Um, let's see. I'm hearing for some of you guys, they feel there's like insecurities that they still hold, even though you guys may not be together anymore. 
there's almost like this feeling of them feeling like you were out of their league or like you were too much. Um, there is something about their insecurities that is very pronounced here. Um, cause there's this feeling like, like they're like Scorpio's too out of my league. I knew it wouldn't work out or I knew that this just wouldn't move forward. Whatever the issue is, I feel like they're projecting their insecurities on you. Um, and it's insecurities about themselves. I'm going to be honest, you guys. Let's see. Why do they feel that way about Scorpio? Why do they feel that way about Scorpio? Why do they feel that way about Scorpio? Page of Cups. Because they still have feelings for you. Um, so yeah, they're viewing you as prideful. They're viewing you as perhaps even stubborn. Um, and the reason why they're feeling this way is because they are still emotionally invested in you, Scorpio. Um, they still have feelings for you. Obviously, they have not moved on. What are their future actions towards Scorpio? What are their future actions towards Scorpio? Eight of Swords. So yeah, I don't see any movement. I don't see any communication or any type of um, any type of communication, really. I feel like they are just going to uh, remain in the energy of being stuck. Um, I feel like there is a bit of hate with this energy and not hate like in the natural sense. I feel like it has more to do with like feeling upset or feeling like there is almost a feeling of like they thought that you would budge. They thought that you would be the one to make contact or they thought that you were the one that had stronger feelings for them, realizing that in reality, they kind of underestimated you. Um, so they're feeling stuck. They're feeling sorry for themselves, basically, because they're still in their feelings about you. But I don't see any communication or any contact. All right, now let's go with Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius love life. Let's look into their new love. How do they see Sagittarius? How do they see Sagittarius? How do they see them? Four of Pentacles. So they definitely see you. They see you closed off, Sagittarius. Uh, there is always like uh, this feeling of being restricted. Um, I feel like they are they're definitely seeing you as a person that could keep certain things to yourself. Like you're not very easy to read um, or like you're a person that is definitely not looking for any type of long-term relationship or connection because they see you extremely guarded. How do they feel about Sagittarius? How do they feel about Sagittarius? Spirits, how do they feel about Sagittarius? Ten of Wands, uh, they see you like you're too much work or too much hassle. Uh, I feel like for some of you guys, this could be almost an energy of the person was willing to get to know you, but at some point there was a feeling of like there's certain things that you're keeping from me or certain things that you're hiding from me. It's too much work at this point. Um, this is a person that is feeling a bit frustrated because of the difficulty of knowing if you are interested or not. Um, and it's just an energy of the person not willing to put effort. If you have been dealing with someone and recently you started seeing them like pull away or like ghost you or like not even respond to your conversation or to your text, or they text you like hours later, they gave up before it even began. And I feel that the reason why they're giving up is because they feel like you're not an easy person to read or like you're keeping things or hiding things from them. What are their future actions towards Sagittarius? What are their future actions towards Sagittarius? Three of Wands. So I, I am seeing that this person is wanting to hear from you. I don't see them taking action. However, I feel like they're waiting to hear from you. They're hoping that you would 
or that you will reach out to them, that you will make an effort. Um, but I don't see them being willing to put the effort. And I feel with the Ten of Wands, I feel like they've, they've, they've already done that. They're past that limit. Uh, so at this point, if you are interested in this person, I would make the move um, only because I do feel like with the Three of Wands, they're, they're still hoping or wanting to hear from you. They've given up on the situation or on the connection only because of your restrictiveness, only because you're not making a move either. So it's kind of like you guys are at stalemates right now. No one is wanting to budge. All right, now let's look into your old love, Sagittarius. Let's see how they feel about you. How do they feel about Sagittarius? Old love. How do they feel about Sagittarius? All right, Ten of Wands again. So they feel like you're too much work. <laughs> What is going on, Sagittarius? What are you doing to these people? <laughs> yeah, so they're definitely feeling like they are burdened. They're feeling like they constantly have to prove themselves or they constantly have to put in the work. Uh, at this point, it's like they are uh, perhaps going a little bit more. Um, they've gone a little bit more uh, in regards to emotional availability. I feel like they are definitely seeing you as a person that needs a lot of attention or a lot of like effort to maintain the relationship. Um, why do they feel that way? Why do they feel that way towards Sagittarius? Why do they feel that way towards Sagittarius? Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Huh. They feel that way because this person was looking for something long term. I feel like for some of you guys, this person from your past could have been um, someone that probably expected too much from you, Sagittarius. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I feel like there was something about your personality that they felt was very challenging. Um, Queen of Pentacles in the position of why they feel that way is because they felt like they were the one to constantly maintain the relationship or to bring some type of stability to the connection. Um, or they felt like they had the mother or father complex of like babying you or having to take care of you or vice versa. It is a general reading. Um, but it's almost like the one to constantly maintain the stability and the connection. That's why they feel that way. What are their future actions towards Sagittarius? Future actions towards Sagittarius. What are their future actions towards Sagittarius? Let's see. Seven of Wands. Yeah, they are definitely not going to be contacting. There's no wanting to reach out. There is an energy of I've put or I try to put effort. Um, and at this point, I need to protect myself, I need to protect my energy, or I need to pull away for some of you guys, there could have been like an actual block um, on social media or on your telephone. Uh, perhaps if if you have been reaching out to them, uh, the reason why they haven't been responding is because they probably have you blocked Sagittarius. Um, however, I do want to say uh, for some of you guys, it could have been that uh, this person uh, either seen you as, you know, a lot to deal with, um, but it can also represent the feeling of whatever it is that you were expecting from them or expecting from this relationship. Um, they kind of put their expectations really high. And the moment they felt like you just didn't meet those expectations, they completely shut you off. Um, so when I say that, it could be like the type of energy of a person that uh, is looking for, you know, someone to settle with, but at the same time, they themselves are not willing to settle or they don't want to act, you know, they want to keep acting single type of energy. Um, like I said, keep in mind, it is a general energy, a general uh, reading, sorry. 
Um, so for some of you guys, it could have been vice versa. Uh, but yeah, I definitely don't see any communication. I actually see a block here. So for some of you guys, like I said, if you've been trying to reach out to them um, or you haven't heard from them, it's because they could have you restricted or they could have you blocked. All right, now let's go to Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see. Let's look into their new love. How do they see them? How do they see Capricorn? How do they see Capricorn? You guys, like I said, if you guys are definitely enjoying these videos, definitely comment below. Let me know, and we'll continue to do these videos for you guys. Let's see. How do they see Capricorn? All right, here we go. The world. Wow, powerful energy here, Capricorn. Um, okay, so for some of you guys, you're ending a cycle. This could have been a cycle. For those of you guys that are single out there, it could be the ending cycle of singlehood. For others of you, it could represent uh, closing the cycle on stagnant energy when we're talking about relationships or um, the deepening of a connection. Uh, they are definitely seeing you as the end all be all. They're seeing you as everything they hoped for or everything they wished for. Uh, they definitely see qualities or attributes about yourself. I mean, about you uh, that they've always seeked or looked for in a partner. Let's see. How do they feel about Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn? Two of Wands, so they are definitely wanting to see where this connection can go. There is a, a genuine, authentic connection here. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that uh, you're meeting someone while traveling. So we have two traveling cards here. So for those of you guys that are single, do not be surprised if you actually meet someone new uh, while vacationing or while taking a road trip. There is definitely traveling energy here and newness there is an ending cycle and a new beginning um, and then uh, how they feel about you with the two of wands. There's definitely passion. There is desire there. Uh, this fan is holding the world card, uh, which indicates, you know, literally uh, they think of they think the world of you um, and the desire and hope to expand or grow in this connection. What are their future actions towards Capricorn? What are their future actions towards Capricorn? Whoa, okay. We have the Eight of Wands. So very quick momentum, quick movement. For those of you guys that are single, you may not be single for very long. Uh, a lot of quick energy, a lot of new beginning type of energy. through. As you can see here, there is a start at the top of the Eight of Wands, uh, which is destiny. It is talking about um, you know, shining bright or shining the light, uh, your path becoming clear and eight of wands is always momentum. It's quick. Uh, it's kind of fast lightning type of energy for some of you guys. You may actually feel like this connection is like lightning or it's going to feel like lightning just struck you, uh, electricity running all over your body type of connection. I feel like this is a pretty deep connection for you guys. So beautiful energy Capricorn. All right, now let's look into the old love of Capricorn. How do they feel about Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn? Page of Wands. Okay, so they are definitely st uh, very much uh, still physically attracted to you, Capricorn. Um, for some of you guys, this could have been a physical type of connection. Why do they feel that way? Why do they feel that way? Six of Pentacles. Okay. So uh, for some of you guys, there was a lot of instability in this connection. Uh, it was a one way ticket. What I mean by that is there's almost this feeling of unbalance of uh, non reciprocation. Someone gave too much in this connection. I feel like for some of you guys, Capricorn, you gave too much in this connection or in this relationship or perhaps thought uh, that the connection was, was much more deeper than what it was to them. Um, six of uh, pentacles is always indicating, you know, the give and take or the receiving, but I feel like it's coming up as the uh, uh, reverse. 
energy, which is that of overgiving. Um, and to, to talk about how or, or why they feel that way is because perhaps they were more into just taking uh, instead of giving. So there was inconsistency here. I feel like for some of you Capricorns, you went above and beyond in this connection and it was not being reciprocated on their stands. I feel like it had more to do with the physical connection. What are their future actions towards Capricorn? Future actions towards Capricorn. The full card. So there is definitely communication that's coming in for some of you guys. Uh, this person will be reaching out to you, wanting to rekindle or wanting to reconnect with you. Uh, I'm going to be honest. If you guys feel like uh, this is right on point to uh, if you are dealing with someone from your past that made you feel like they left you high and dry or like they took from you and you were left feeling empty handed or you were left feeling like you were the one to constantly be giving or doing to maintain the relationship. My advice to this is walk away from this type of energy. Why? Because when looking into your new love, there is new love that's coming in. And you don't want to be dealing with someone that is always taking. When it comes to a relationship, it takes two people to make it work. It takes reciprocation in order to maintain the balance. Um, and I feel like it's just not, it's just not that, um, with the full and the page of wands, immature type of energy, uh, this is passion, this is desire, um, but not so much about emotions. As you guys can see, we have wands and pentacles. Um, so again, uh, my advice is that would be a waste of time and energy on your part to entertain anything from the past Capricorn. All right. Now let's move on to Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. New love. How do they see Aquarius? How do they see them? How do they see them? Aquarius. Two of Wands. They definitely see you as someone that they're willing to go above and beyond to pursue. Uh, they are definitely very, very much physically attracted to you there's a lot of passion here a lot of intensity let's see how do they feel about Aquarius how do they feel about Aquarius oh sorry you guys okay had to pick up those cards <laughs> All right, let's see. How do they feel about Aquarius? The full card. They are definitely uh, very intense about this connection. They are uh, definitely feeling you, Aquarius. They are pursuing you. They are just willing to jump the gun or jump into this and see where this can actually progress. This is very... Uh, playful type of energy. This is uh, a person that is very charismatic, um, loving this energy. What are their future actions towards Aquarius? Future actions towards Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Future actions. Here we go. They are definitely wanting to pursue you and they are going to go hard. Uh, they're wanting you, Aquarius. There is a desire to stabilize this connection, to make it official, to take it to the next level. There is desire to uh, bring balance, not only balance, to solidify this connection. So for some of you guys, um, definitely becoming official. Beautiful energy. All right, now let's look into old love for Aquarius. Like I said, you guys, if you guys are interested in these beautiful tarot cards, you can find the link at the bottom of the description box. Let me know if you guys are enjoying these videos. All right. Old love. How do they feel about Aquarius? There is definitely a missing you, Aquarius. There is a desire to want to reconnect. They are hopeful uh, that you will be reaching out or that they will be bumping into you. It's almost 
uh, the, de the the missing, the missing or mourning the connection, the relationship. I'm hearing regrets for a lot of them. Okay, why do they feel this way? Why do they feel this way? Why do they have regret? Because they still have uh, love for you. They still have, you know, emotions. They're still emotionally invested in you or still have emotional connection with you. And that's the reason why there is remorse here. There's remorse because I feel like they know that they could have offered or done more for you. And there is regret that they weren't able to do that. Uh, for some of them, it could almost be like an energy of feeling like now I realize what I did wrong and I wish I could undo it or I wish I could do it all over again so that I would do right by them type of energy. What are their future actions towards Aquarius? Future actions towards Aquarius. Future actions towards Aquarius. The hanged man. Yeah, I definitely don't see them making a move. I don't see them uh, taking any action towards you, Aquarius. I feel like they're going through it emotionally, not going to lie. There are, like I said, there's regret more than anything is what I'm sensing. It's almost a feeling of uh, being able to see things from a very different perspective. Perhaps now that you're not in their life, they're able to or capable of seeing where they went wrong. Um, and that could be why the remorse is weighing so heavy on them. All right, and finally, let's go to Pisces. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Let's look into their new love life, new love. How do they see Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they see Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Four of Swords. So they are definitely seeing you as distant. Uh, for some of you guys, there could have been some type of temporary distancing or perhaps a uh, block, uh, perhaps being blocked, or perhaps you were the one that blocked them. Uh, there is this feeling of having to detach from the situation. How do they feel about Pisces? How do they feel about Pisces? Four of Wands. So they were definitely they were definitely interested in building something with you, Pisces. Um, but I feel like there was some type of separation or temporary separation, some type of blockage, uh, something of distancing. Um, I feel like it has more to do with you, Pisces. So you could have potentially pushed this person away, like push them, um, push them away. You could have, uh, like I said, blocked them, perhaps. Um, there is almost like with the four of swords this usually indicates to me the having time to rest or to figure out what you want or where you're at at this point in life uh pisces when it comes to relationships um and how they feel about you was the desire like i said to build something to form a union some type of strong uh stability here uh we have two fours so fours is always about building it's always about structure um and i feel like there was lack of structure because perhaps both of you guys were in different um in different pages you guys weren't in the same page for some of you guys it could be that you were dealing with a married person or this person um or they or you're the married person i should say so i don't know what's going on there what are their future actions towards Pisces? Pisces. What are their future actions towards Pisces? Four of Pentacles. So I definitely don't see any movement. I don't see them being the one to reach out. I feel like they're being stubborn. I feel like they're being, um, because they're in their feelings, uh, they're being a bit spiteful, uh, especially if it was you the one that blocked them or the one that pushed them away. Uh, there is this feeling of like complete being guarded and not making a move. It's like, I'm not going to make a move if Pisces, if Pisces doesn't make a move. Um, so I do see, I don't see any movement um, for this month, Pisces. All right, now let's go to old love. 
for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see. How do they feel about Pisces? How do they feel about Pisces? How do they feel about Pisces? All right, Knight of Cups. They are definitely seeing you as a very beautiful person. They are uh, definitely seeing you um, or feeling uh, emotions. There is still, they haven't moved on. Uh, there is still the uh, hopefulness of wanting to reconnect with you. Um, but they are definitely still in love with you, Pisces. Let's see. Why do they feel this way? Why do they feel this way? I'm hearing that for some of you guys, uh, they will be reaching out. I feel like your old love has not moved on from you. Um, there is almost this desire, like hopefulness of you reaching out. However, I feel like what I'm hearing is if they don't reach out, I will break. So at some point they will become weak and they will be uh, reaching out or sending you a text or a drunk text for some of you guys. Why do they feel that way? Yeah, so they feel that they what they're feeling right now is that they're still feeling love towards you, that they haven't moved on. Um, and the reason why they feel that way is because you have either become closed off or you've moved on. And there is almost this frustration, like them trying to get through the wall or the wall that is up. There is a wanting to break through that wall um, to see if or, or to find out if there's still love on your part towards them. Uh, there is almost what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, there is like no contact or no communication. Um, there will be. And the reason for it is because I feel like because you're guarded or because they don't know where you stand with them, there is always this wanting to pierce through that wall or that restriction to see if there is still something there. What are their future actions towards Pisces? Future actions towards Pisces. Future actions towards Pisces. Judgment. So yeah, um, again, I do feel like they are going to be reaching out. They are coming back around Pisces. There is almost like, like I said, if you've been completely um, at a standstill and just haven't reached out or haven't communicated with them. Um, perhaps they kind of underestimated you. Perhaps they thought you were, you would be the one to break. Now that they see you a little bit stronger, there is a feeling of what if that door of opportunity is closing in. So they're definitely going to be taking action, but I feel like that openness of communication or that text or that call comes through at a point where they are extremely vulnerable. So it could be that they are either like high or they're drinking or they've had some drinks in them. And I feel like the reason for that is because they've been wanting to reach out to you, Pisces. They've been wanting to communicate with you. But I feel like with with them uh, kind of using that as an excuse for them reaching out in case there is some type of rejection. So I feel like it's basically like alcohol bravery um, or the wanting to rely on, oh, I was drunk. I'm sorry. Like if I texted you last night, that type of energy. But it's something they've been planning or wanting to do for a while. So, all right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you did, definitely let me know um, so that we can continue doing these videos for you guys. Uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye.